three options to track your HRV, your heart rate variability, on a Galaxy Watch. And none of these actually include the Galaxy Watch, which is sad. The first option is to not use the Galaxy Watch because you cannot track HRV on the Galaxy Watch. Even though Samsung Health uses HRV in order to determine your stress level, there is no readout you can actually access. There are also no third-party apps for the Galaxy Watch 4. There are third-party apps for older watches, which are based on Tizen OS, which you then can do a manual reading, but not a continuous reading. So that's the first way, kind of, on the older watches. The second way is to use your phone. Since you probably already also have a Galaxy phone, maybe not, but if you have a Galaxy phone, then at least it's the Galaxy ecosystem and you're not totally out of luck. And because your Galaxy phone on the back has a heart rate sensor, which also can measure heart rate variability, at least with a certain app called Veltory, which also works with your normal camera because they figured out an algorithm to actually then measure HRV, which is very convenient. It has a free version and the free version just measures your normal HRV and there is also a paid version which gives you many more metrics. You can actually test out the many more metrics in the beginning for the first seven days, I think. That is the second way. And the third way is actually two ways combined and this is to get just an additional device. Um, I think two devices are very worth looking at and these two devices are for one the Aura Ring and for two the Whoop Band. The Whoop Band is a band just like the band here and the tracker is approximately as big as the Casio watch, a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker and then so the main idea is you already have the Galaxy Watch to track your workouts and also to use it with maybe Google Pay or Samsung Pay. So you don't need an additional thing that actually tracks the, the workouts you track manually. What do you, but the only thing you need basically is something to measure your HRV. And the thing you can get in it in order to measure your HRV is either an aura ring, which is a ring that goes on one of your fingers and then you wear it basically all day. You have to charge it every other day and then you get an additional measurement device which also comes with HRV. The other option, so the Aura Ring um, has a subscription now which um, you have to use because otherwise you cannot access the data. You can access very 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 rudimental data but basically not what you would expect in the free version. So the Aura Ring is 300 to 400 euros and now the Whoop Band and the subscription is I think 6 or 7 euros. Now the Whoop Band compared to the Aura Ring is something that is not a ring and that's, that's very good I think because whenever you use your hands you don't want to have a ring on your hands obviously and also these things can get stuck and also if you have swollen, um, swollen things here not ankles but these things I don't know what they are called, then you might have a problem getting the ring off to charge. So the Whoop Band now, what, what the Whoop Band offers is it is a band. You can wear it here or here or here or here basically. And the benefit is you don't have a ring and it still can measure your heart rate. The Whoop Band also can measure a few other things such as steps and things like these, but the main reason you're probably getting it if you already have a Galaxy Watch is to get the HRV measurement. You have, uh, what you have in order to charge the Whoop Band is, not the Whoop Band but the Whoop itself, is a wireless charger you can basically attach magnetically, think of it like this, and then it attaches magnetically but it's a little bit smaller than the Galaxy Buds Pro case and then it attaches and you can even leave it on. You can also swim with it and these are basically the two external options you have. The Whoop Band though is very pricey, so you don't have to pay for the device up front, but you have to get a subscription. If you get a subscription for 24 months, I think the price is 20 or 25 euros, which is quite expensive because it's per month. And these 
In total are the options for getting a HRV measurement if you have a Galaxy ecosystem and a Galaxy watch already. In the future maybe there will be apps that will actually also measure HRV on the Galaxy Watch 4. It seems to be able to measure it, yet somehow nobody came up with the idea of getting something. I actually asked ask the company, Weltery, whether they are already in, the, in basically making or trying to make a Galaxy Watch 4 app, a Wear OS app, and they say it, it's somewhere in the priority list, but not really high and it's also very complicated. So, don't expect something from this company soon. I don't know if there are any other companies working on something like this, but this is what I found because I wanted to have HRV and I do have a Galaxy Watch and it doesn't make sense to buy an Apple Watch which has an HRV tracking or a Garmin Watch which also comes with HRV tracking, but the Galaxy ecosystem, Samsung Health ecosystem is just, you're just out of luck if you're in this. What I'm currently now using for myself is nothing apart from the app called Weltery, which I use every now and then, maybe once a day, twice a day, every other day, to just get a HRV baseline, kind of, first of all, and then to maybe improve it over time and to see whether my data actually improves, just to get different times of the day after standing up, waking up, then going to sleep and just seeing how different things impact HRV and to just understand it a little bit better. But in the long term, it obviously would be very beneficial to don't to have to do manual readings because you actually have to put your finger for about 100 seconds onto your device and you cannot really move that much because otherwise the, the measurement will be compromised. You can even do a 300 second reading and that's a lot longer then. 